God gives you a lot of challenges in life and it's how you deal with those challenges that really turn you into who you are. I lived in Randolph, Massachusetts uh, with my Nana and Zadie for about four years and we moved to a town called Saddlebrook, New Jersey. It was a normal town and I sort of had what I considered a normal childhood. When I went to middle school, that's when sort of the difference between me and the other kids really showed up. I was actually made fun of um, for being Jewish. They would kick me, they would punch me, they would call me an effing Jew. On March 10th, 1998, I went into computer class. The twin girls walked in and I felt hands on my back and I froze. I didn't know what to do. And they said, move you effing Jew, move. God damn it, move you effing Jew. And they like were holding me down and kept on like pushing my back and pushing down my shoulders at the same time. And this boy across from me said, get the effing Jew, get her good, pull the chair out from under her. And the next thing I know is I'm falling down. They literally, they stuck the top of the chair up into the back of my neck. I saw them hitting like my leg with the chair and everything and just kept on going in and out of uh, consciousness. The next thing I remember was I was in the nurse's office. There was a bell that rung and my teacher, she came up to me and she goes, Neely, school's out, go to your locker and go home. I went out to the car to my mom and I said, you know, my head hurts, I'm really tired because I didn't really remember at the time what happened. And so we went home and I went upstairs and went to bed. I thought you were supposed to be safe in school and the teachers were supposed to protect you and everything. I felt really vulnerable and then I was afraid to go back. I was out of school for three months afterwards because of how bad the concussion was. I had a blood clot from my spine all the way to here for 18 months uh, that caused um, some brain damage because I have some learning disabilities now. And my hearing's affected from it. Uh, eventually, I'm going to need surgery on my neck, my back, my left arm, the shoulder, the elbow, the wrist. Uh, my left hip is going to need surgery. I've had two left knee surgeries. I've had two surgeries on my left ankle and three surgeries on my left foot. Eventually, my mom had enough because the school system wouldn't do it and I was homeschooled for the rest of high school but I lost the ability to play sports. I lost a lot of friends and um, my career aspirations of playing for softball for uh, the United States and stuff was all lost. I cut my hair really short because I don't like stuff uh, touching my neck. Uh, every year on the anniversary, I can't get out of bed. Um, I don't like being in big crowds, so there's a lot. Really how I get out of it was my grandma convinced me to go to Israel, to go on birthright. I thought it was crazy. Uh, I had no clue why. I didn't really know anything about it. I didn't grow up very religious, so I had no clue what connection Israel had to me or why. I just felt this weird connection to the people and to every place that we went to. I had no clue why, but it just felt like I was home, like I was safe. and belong somewhere.
I have been spit at. I have gotten little rocks, like pebbles, thrown at me by students. I've been called a terrorist, a baby killer, a kike, an effing Jew. I've been called anything you could think of, uh, a supporter of genocide. But I think the worst thing that's been said to me was by a female student was to go burn in an oven. It did bring me back to my experience in middle school. I was really scared, but I knew I was older and I had grown from that first experience. So I wanted to combat the bullies now. And I felt like it was my duty to do that, to stand up for people that couldn't speak for themselves. My name is Neely. My question is for the students that are afraid to stand up, and you're the lone wolf out there, how do you get the students to join you? Neely was a lone wolf, and she's done incredible work on her campus in the last year. Like, she deserves a round of applause. God wanted me to go through something terrible and to learn and to grow from it and to get that deeper connection to him and to Israel and allow me to combat what's happening on campus. For someone to go through what I've been through and to be where I am today, hopefully my story can help inspire someone out there. You're not alone in this fight.